Welcome back to Prime Your Midlife. Today I'm going to ask you to think about time and two bank accounts of time. They're going to deliver to you consistently every single day. The first bank account is fantastic because it delivers literally every single day, guaranteed. But by the time and the end of the day finishes, there's nothing left. But tomorrow, it gives you the same amount again, time and time again. And it's up to you, literally, how you spend that money time from your bank account. And this is the principle of 86,400 seconds per day. That's what you've got. Every morning when you wake up, it's 86,400 seconds worth of time for you to use. But regrettably, because you sleep maybe seven, eight hours, you've only got immediately 61,200 seconds of the day to use. But it's guaranteed literally every single day that time allocation is delivered to you in 61,200 chunks of seconds. But it's gone. The next day, you can't get that back again. So how are you thinking every day intentionally about the time that you've got available? And then most importantly, what do you do with that time? Because it's linking to the second account which is the time that you've got available. And Oliver Berkman calls this 4,000 weeks. Roughly, on average, if you multiply your years of expectancy times 52 weeks, together, it's about 4,000 weeks of time. And that bank account goes down every single day, every single week, every single year. You've got less time left because memento mori means that everybody technically speaking will pass at some stage and me well it, let's say i was 45 which i'm not on the basis of i originally had 4000 i've now got about 2028 days of weeks left 2000 weeks Maybe 35 Christmases, maybe 35 birthdays. Wow, it's quite, quite daunting when you actually think about it in that context. But sometimes we kind of imagine that life is going to carry on for us and this inevitability of life stopping dilutes us. And we just think, oh, we'll be better tomorrow. We'll be better next week. Or I'll try that in the next year. The truth is that time literally waits for nobody. And every day, even though you get that 86,400 seconds, once they've gone, they've gone. So my challenge to you today is to be more mindful, be more intentional, and be more deliberate with the time that you have. And look at yesterday, the time that you might have spent scrolling, the time that you might have put things off. Well, what are you waiting for? You've only got 4,000 weeks on average to take advantage of every opportunity. And as you get older, it also gets harder to change and harder to be active, harder to make impact. And this message to you today is to literally tell you that the grains of sand just carry on falling through that timepiece. And it's up to you to make sure every sickle little rain counts. How are you spending your time today and how you spend your day every day will determine how much of your future you'll be proud of or regretful of.
The voice in the future of regret is a painful one to have to come to terms with. And as you go in through midlife and whatever journey you're on, you'll have gates where you suddenly think, I've got to change. I can no longer live with the person that says I should. And I must come to terms with the person that I can be. Good luck spending your 86,400 seconds tomorrow and for every one of the weeks that you've got left in this beautiful world that we live on. Remember, we have one life. So love life, living life. <laughs>